the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 21 I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner, I have a couple of questions I don't want to forget to ask in this period. I'll ask them first. The first question is, would the future content of this book be affected in any way if the instrument reads the material we have already obtained? I am raw. The future, as you measure in time-space, communications which we offer through this instrument have no connection with the instrument's mind complex. This is due to two things. First, the fidelity of the instrument in dedicating its will to the service of the infinite creator. Secondly, the distortion understanding of our social memory complex that the most efficient way to communicate material with as little distortion as possible, given the necessity of the use of sound vibration complexes, is to remove the conscious mind complex from the spirit mind body complex so that we may communicate without reference to any instrument orientation. Questioner, a little appendage to this. Do you use your vocabulary or the instrument's vocabulary to communicate with us? I am raw. We use the vocabulary of the language with which you are familiar. This is not the instrument's vocabulary. However, this particular mind body spirit complex retains the use of a sufficiently large number of sound vibration complexes that the distinction is often without any importance. Questioner, Andrija Pulik will be visiting later this month. Can he read the unpublished healing material? I am raw. The entity of whom you speak has a knowledge of this material in its conscious memory in somewhat altered form. Therefore, it is harmless to allow this entity to become acquainted with this material. However, we request the mind-body-spirit complex, Henry, be sufficiently prepared by means of meditation, contemplation, or prayer before entering these workings. At present, as we have said before, this mind-body-spirit complex is not of proper vibrational distortion. Questioner, I had already determined to exclude him from these workings. I have only determined to let him read the material. The only other thing is that I have noticed that within the material as it exists now there is a certain statement which will allow him to understand who I believe Spectra really was. It seems my duty to remove this from his knowledge to preserve the same free will that you attempted to preserve by not defining the origin of Spectra his contact in Israel. Am I correct? I am raw. This is a matter for your discretion. Questioner, that's what I thought you'd say. Well, now we'll get back to the business at hand of doing the book. I want, as we cover this early part of the 75,000 year cycle, I would. I would like to go back a little bit, quite some distance perhaps, before the 75,000 years occurred and take one more look at the transfer of entities from Maldek to clear up this point. I'd like to check the time that you gave us, because we had some distortions in numbers back in the early part of this, and I'm afraid this might be distorted. These entities from Maldek were transferred how many years ago? I am raw. The entities of which you speak underwent several transitions, the first occurring 500,000, 500,000 of your years, approximately, in your past, as you measure time. At this time, the entities were transformed into a knot. This continued for what you would call eons of your time. Those aiding them were repeatedly unable to reach them. At a period approximately 200,000, 200,000 years in your past, as you measure time, a confederation entity was able to begin to relax this knot from which none had escaped during planetary inhalation. These entities then were transformed again into the inner or time-space dimensions and underwent a lengthy process of healing. When this was accomplished, these entities were then able to determine the appropriate movement, shall we say, in order to set up conditions for alleviation of the consequences of their actions. At a time for 6000, 46000, 46000 of your years in your past, as you measure time, this being approximate, these entities chose incarnation within the planetary sphere. Questioner, I see. Then no incarnation occurred before this master 75,000 year cycle of Maldek entities. Correct? I am raw. This is correct in the sense of incarnation in third density time space. Questioner, were there any of these entities then incarnated in second density before the 75,000 year cycle? I am raw. This is incorrect. These particular entities were incarnate in time space third density, that is, the so-called inner planes, undergoing the process of healing and approaching realization of their action. Questioner, I don't mean to be covering ground that we've already covered, 
but there are some points that we have trouble with fully understanding and sometimes I have to ask the question a different way to fully understand it. Thank you. So at the start of this 75,000 year cycle we know that the quarantine was set up. I am assuming then that the Guardians were aware of the infringements on free will that would occur if they didn't set this up at the time and therefore did it. This is this correct? I am wrong. This is partially incorrect. The incorrectness is as follows. Those entities whose third density experience upon your red planet was brought to a close prematurely were aided genetically while being transferred to this third density. This, although done in a desire to aid, was seen as infringement upon free will. The light quarantine which consists of the guardians, or gardeners as you may call them, which would have been in effect thus was intensified. Questioner, now, when the 75,000 year cycle started, the lifespan was approximately 900 years. Average. What was the process and scheduling of mechanism, shall I say, of reincarnation at the time, and how did the time in between incarnations into third density physical appellate to the growth of the mind-body-spirit complex? I am wrong. This query is more complex than most. We shall begin. The incarnation pattern of the beginning third density mind-body-spirit complex begins in darkness, for you may think or consider of your density as one of, as you may say, asleep and a forgetting. This is the only plane of forgetting. It is necessary for the third density entity to forget so that the mechanisms of confusion or free will may operate upon the newly individuated consciousness complex. Thus, the beginning entity is one in all innocence oriented towards animalistic behavior using other selves only as extensions of self for the preservation of the all self. The entity becomes slowly aware that it has needs, shall we say, that are not animalistic. That is, that are useless for survival. These needs include, the need for companionship, the need for laughter, the need for beauty, the need to know the universe about it. These are the beginning needs. As the incarnations begin to accumulate, further needs are discovered, the need to trade, the need to love, the need to be loved, the need to elevate animalistic behaviors to a more universal perspective. During the first portion of third density cycles, Incarnations are automatic and occur rapidly upon the cessation of energy complex of the physical vehicle. There is small need to review or to heal the experiences of the incarnation as, what you would call, the energy centers begin to be activated to a higher extent. More of the content of experience during incarnation deals with the lessons of love. Thus the time, as you may understand it, between incarnations is lengthened to give appropriate attention to the review and the healing of experiences of the previous incarnation. At some point in third density, the green ray energy center becomes activated and at that point incarnation ceases to be automatic. Questioner, when incarnation ceases to become automatic I am assuming that the entity can decide when he needs to reincarnate for the benefit of his own learning. Does he also select his parents? I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, at this time in our cycle, near the end, what percentage of the entities, approximately, incarnating are making their own choices? I am wrong. The approximate percentage is 5 4, 54, 54, percent. Questioner, thank you. During this first 25,000 year cycle was there any industrial development at all? Was there any machinery available during this period to the people? I am wrong. Using the term machine to the meaning which you ascribe, the answer is no. However, there were, shall we say, various implements of wood and rock which were used in order to obtain food and for use in aggression. Questioner, at the end of this first 25,000 year cycle, then, was there any physical change that occurred rapidly like that which occurs at a 75,000 year cycle or is this just an indexing time for a harvesting period? I am wrong. There was no change except that which according to intelligent energy, or what you may term physical evolution, suited physical complexes to their environment, this being of the color of the skin due to the area of the sphere upon which entities lived. The gradual growth of peoples due to improved intake of foodstuffs. Questioner, then we have a condition where at the end of the first 25,000 year period, I would say the I am guessing that the Guardians discovered that there was no harvest of either positive or negatively oriented entities. Tell me then what happened? What action was taken? etc. I am wrong. There was no action taken except to remain aware of the possibility of a calling for help or understanding among the entities of this density. The Confederation is concerned with the preservation of the conditions conducive to learning. This for the most part, revolves about the primal distortion of free will. Questioner, then the Confederation gardeners did nothing, I'm assuming, until some of the plants in their garden, 
Shall I say, call them for help? Is this correct? I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, when did the first call occur, and how did it occur? The first calling was approximately for 6,000, 46,000, 46,000 of your years ago. This calling was of those of Maldek. These entities were aware of their need for rectifying the consequences of their action and were in some confusion in an incarnate state as to the circumstances of their incarnation. The unconscious being aware, the conscious being quite confused. This created a calling. The Confederation sent love and light to these entities. Questioner, how did the Confederation send this love and light? Precisely what did they do? I am wrong. They dwell within the Confederation planetary entities who from their planetary spheres do nothing but send love and light as pure streamings to those who call. This is not in the form of conceptual thought but of pure and undifferentiated love. Questioner, did the first distortion of the law of one require then that equal time, shall I say, be given to the self-service oriented group? I am wrong. In this case this was not necessary for some of your time due to the orientation of the entities. Questioner, what was their orientation? The orientation of these entities was such that the aid of the confederation was not perceived. Questioner, since it was not perceived it was not necessary to balance this. Is that correct? I am wrong. This is correct. What is necessary to balance is opportunity. When there is ignorance, there is no opportunity. When there exists a potential, then each opportunity shall be balanced, this balancing caused by not only the positive and negative orientations of those offering aid but also the orientation of those requesting aid. Questioner, I see. I want to clear up a point here, then. When was the first contact by the Orion group? In yes, I am wrong. As we have said, the Orion group attempted contact approximately 60,000, 60,000 of your years in the past, as you measure time. Questioner, I'm sorry. I meant the first attempt in the second major cycle. I'm now working in the second 25,000 years. How many years ago was the Orion Group's attempt in that cycle? I am wrong. The Orion Group next attempted in more fertile territory approximately 3600, 3600 of your years in the past, as you measure time. Questioner, in other words, there was no attempt 46,000 years ago by the Orion Group to contact. Is that correct? I am wrong. This is correct. Questioner, as we progress into the second 25,000 year cycle, did at this time, during this period, was this the period of Lemuria? I am wrong. This is incorrect. However, those who escaped the destruction of Lemuria by natural catastrophe and were thus of Lemurian background continued their learned teachings at locations ranging from your South America onward through the Americas as you know them and continuing over what was at that time a bridge which no longer exists. There were those in what you would call Russia. Tape ends. Questioner. Just to quickly refresh my mind how many years ago did Lemuria suffer its catastrophe? I am wrong. This was approximately 50,000, 50,000 of your years ago. The origins being approximately 5,3, 53,000, 53,000 of your years ago. The damage being completed in that last small cycle of the first master cycle. Questioner, did you mean to say master or major cycle? I am wrong. The appropriate sound vibration complex is major cycle. Questioner. Thank you. Then did the ending of this first major cycle have something to do with the destruction of Lemuria, or did this destruction just happen to occur at the end of that cycle? I am wrong. There is a confluence of energies at the ending of a major cycle. This encouraged what was already an inevitable adjustment in the movement of the surfaces of your planetary sphere. Questioner, thank you very much. I apologize for being so stupid in making my questions but this has cleared up the point nicely for me. Thank you. Then in the second 25,000 year major cycle was there any great civilization that developed? I am wrong. In the sense of greatness of technology there were no great societies during this cycle. There was some advancement among those of Denp who had chosen to incarnate as a body in what you would call China. There were appropriately positive steps in activating the green ray energy complex in many portions of your planet sphere including the Americas, the continent which you call Africa, the island which you call Australia, and that which you know as India, as well as various scattered peoples. None of these became what you would name great as the greatness of Lemuria or Atlantis is known to you due to the formation of strong social complexes and in the case of Atlantis, very great technological understandings. However, in the South American area of your planetary sphere as you know it, 
there grew to be a great vibratory distortion towards love. These entities were harvestable at the end of the second major cycle without ever having formed strong social or technological complexes. This will be the final question in completion of this session. Is there a query we may answer quickly before we close? As this instrument is somewhat depleted, questioner, I just wanted to apologize for a bit of confusion on my part in carrying on to this second 25,000 years. I would just like to ask if there is anything I could do to make the instrument more comfortable. We would hope to have a second session later today. I am raw. You may observe a slight misalignment between book, candle, and perpendicularity of sensor. This is not significant. But as we have said the cumulative effects upon this instrument are not well. You are conscientious. It is well to have a second session given the appropriate exercising and manipulation of this instrument's physical complex. I am raw. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. End of session 21.